What's going on? My name is Bushman. Today we are playing a game called Would You Rather. Simple. Would you rather be late? Would you rather be unprepared? You choose and at the end it shows your percentage of how many people's actually answered this question and which one they actually went for. Would you rather always be late or always be unprepared? I hate being late. It stresses me out a lot. I always check the time just so I know that I'm going to be on time for anything. Even if I don't want to be there, I don't want to be late. I hate it. Unprepared? I'd rather be unprepared to be honest. Do you need everything? Oh, you probably do. So like if you need to go to school, you need all your equipment like pens and pencils but pretty sure you can get that from your classmates. That's what we did in school. We didn't have any, we always asked our classmates pens or pencils if we needed them or ask the teacher so being late you could miss important stuff I just hate it it stresses me out I don't like it I'd rather be unprepared really would you rather go one year without your teeth or one year without the internet so you need your teeth for like eating so if you don't have your teeth then you probably it's gonna be hard to eat or you have to blend all your stuff to drink it all which probably isn't very nice or good for you either one year without the internet I think that would be the, the best option because everyone's going in for the internet now like back in the day like everyone was out playing games like football or sports or whatever climbing trees now everyone's on the internet and the internet is a good place and a bad place it's good because you can do whatever you want I guess bad because click on something and get a virus or pay for something that you shouldn't pay for or meet people that you shouldn't be meeting so I think going a year without the internet. I know a load of people would go without the teeth because everyone loves the internet. But I think that'd be the best. But you need to eat food. And a whole year without your teeth, it's gonna be a long year. Oh, people actually agreed with me. Would you rather get hit by a bus or watch a loved one get hit by a bus? Hmm. Like, I've actually seen a, a video where someone got hit by a bus and survived and they got smacked straight in the middle of it and they actually got up and walked away which was surprising. You'd probably get some big injuries though. I'd rather have it hit by me than someone else. It doesn't say how fast the bus is going because it could go like really really slow and you get hit by it. It probably won't hurt but it could go like 30-40 mile an hour and hit you be seriously injured or worse so I, I'd rather get hit by it because I'd rather me to be suffered in pain than someone else everyone agrees apart from these donuts would you rather go to the dentist or watch women's sports <laughs> how do they come up with these two I hate the dentist I actually got mine straightened with braces and everything and I hate going to that because it hurts every time especially when they tighten it and then they put new uh, braces in it hurt a lot and they did this like gum thing and they I don't know what it was but ugh, I almost choked it was horrible it was a nightmare but watching women's sports there's loads you could watch tennis because that's a big women's sport as well Swimming, I don't know, Olympics. I'll rather watch women's sports because dentist is hell. It's I, I hate it. You would rather go to the dentist and watch a women's sport. What? Would you rather be woken up at 3 a.m. every morning and forced to watch Mrs. Doubtfire? Or get punched in the face by an average man once every two months? But that's every morning you have to get up at 3 a.m. to watch the same film. That would get boring after a while. You must have to go to bed at like 6 o'clock so you don't feel tired. Imagine 
Imagine going to bed at like 12 and then three hours you have to get up and watch Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> or you can get punched by an average man. Like it doesn't say how hard, but it's an average, an average man. Once every two months. So I think that's the better option. It's only going to hurt for like a couple of minutes, wouldn't it? Like, but getting up at 3 a.m. every morning to watch the same film. That would be like long days. I would rather get punched. Yeah. <laughs> Not saying Miss Stapfire film is is good. But every morning at 3 a.m. No. Would you rather cut off your right hand or cut off your left hand? Hmm. I use my right hand more than my left. <laughs> So I'd cut my left hand off because I use it for like tennis and oh, but if you cut your left hand off, you can't play golf or anything, anything that he needs two hands for. My right hand uses most, like using a mouse or writing or anything like that. So I'm gonna cut off my left hand. I don't know what I do with my left hand really. Yeah, these guys must be right, must be left-handed. These are right handed. If you were trapped in a cave with your pet, would you rather sacrifice your pet so you can eat sacri or sacrifice parts of your body so you both could eat? Imagine if your pet was a goldfish. Like, <laughs> imagine if you sacrificed it and you just got one goldfish. <laughs> That'd be funny. I would actually sacrifice my body so we both could eat. I don't think I have to eat myself. I wonder what that tastes like. I'm not gonna try it though, but so I wouldn't I wouldn't like to eat my own pet. Nah, I would just I would not like it. I would have nightmares every <laughs> every day if I had to eat my own pet. You would sacrifice your own pet. Is your pet like a a big tuna fish or something? <laughs> you just survive. Would you rather be stabbed in the stomach 10 times or be shot in both kneecaps? Pretty sure if you get stabbed in the stomach 10 times, you'd probably die. But if you get shot in the kneecaps, you probably won't, but you could. So if you get shot in your kneecaps, they wouldn't heal. You have to like amputate them. Or you could get lucky, I guess, and they'll work fine in like a year's time. Getting stabbed 10 times. Oh, wait, it doesn't say stabbed with what? It doesn't say stabbed with a knife. It doesn't stab, say stabbed with someone's finger. Cause that, that wouldn't hurt. 10 times stabbed with your finger, that would, wouldn't hurt. A needle? Imagine if they had to get stabbed with like 10 injections. <laughs> 10 times in your stomach. So I think that, I'm guessing it's for, uh, referring to a knife. So, be shot with both in both kneecaps. It doesn't say if it has to be a proper gun. Could be a water gun. Could be a Nerf gun. And that definitely wouldn't hurt. Ooh, which answer? I'd rather get shot, I guess. Yeah. For the rest of your life, would you rather drink the same thing or eat the same meal? I'd rather drink the same thing because I kind of do that most times. I consistently drink the same drink, but eating the same meal probably just make me feel sick. Imagine having a tuna salad every day. That that wouldn't be good. It wouldn't even be healthy, I guess, because if you eat the same thing, even though it's a salad, I think if you eat the same thing every over and over and over doesn't become healthy, it becomes bad for you. But if you drink the same thing, it's, you could drink water and it's just gonna be healthy all the time. I guess so, I think drinking the same thing is better than eating the same meal. Plus you probably get sick of the uh, taste of the meal and you probably won't get sick of the drink, I guess. Unless it's alcohol and then, <laughs> probably gonna be, uh, Throwing up a lot. Oh my god, that is a big one. Would you rather fight a wolf with your bare hands 
or fight a large bear with a sword. I think the sword would be best because you've got like, that extra range, I guess. Because wolves are aggressive and they can jump on you. Or you can jump on them and they'll probably kill you anyway. But a bear, you, you could chop his like arms off, his legs off, his head off and you'll win. Only if it's like a, a sharp sword. If it's like a toy sword, <laughs> you have no chance. A large bear. Like they are scary. Well, they're not scary, but like they'll do a lot of damage to you. They will kill you. Easy. But if you've got a weapon, that is better than going bear fierce with a wolf. Because they've got sharp teeth. So I'll guess this one. There we are. Sword for the win. Would you rather have the ability to see through anything or the ability to get away with theft? The ability to see through anything. You can see through walls, you can see through people's clothes. <laughs> so you can see what's coming, I guess, like round a corner that you can't see. So like, oh, there's some bad guys over there. I can see that because I look through a wall. Or the ability to get away with theft. So you could just get rich easy. You could just like you know, steal everything and any, anything easy and get away with it. Even if you get caught, even if you got caught by a camera, you'll get away with it. <laughs> Which sounds cool, but so does looking through a wall. So I'm probably gonna go with a the theft because you just get rich easy. And you get away with it, so I guess could be good as well. You know what I'm thinking? I'll go with the theft. I know what they were thinking, definitely. <laughs> Would you rather be in jail for 60 years or die? Probably be in jail for 60 years, I guess, because... I think, isn't it in some jails that you can, you can have, like, anything? You can have a good bed, you can have game consoles or anything like that computers you can go out like in the courtyard basketball or whatever the sports they got on gym work have good meals i guess i don't know I've never been to jail so i don't know or die where you die so i guess i'm gonna go with this one people people just die <laughs> would you rather be always overdressed or always underdressed Probably underdressed. So if you're overdressed, imagine if you're, <laughs> you're just going out to the cinema, you're there in a suit. <laughs> or you're um, going to watch a local uh, football game and you're there in a suit. <laughs> in the stands, that would be funny. Or you're underdressed where you have an important dinner party and you're dressed in casual clothes, which you probably get kicked out for, I guess. Maybe the overdress, because you probably always look smart. But if you're underdressed, you probably get kicked out a load of places where you need to be dressed up nicely. So I'll, pro I'll probably actually over overdress or underdressed. This is a tough one. I think over. Would you rather have a first edition? Holographic Charizard or get twenty dollars. I'm pretty sure this probably costs a lot more than that, I'm guessing. Plus it's a Pokemon, so who wouldn't want that? I think that'd be a good choice. Twenty dollars, what what can you get for that? I know you can't buy this for twenty dollars, I don't think. I'm pretty sure this would cost a lot more for first edition. And it's a good Pokemon as well. There's a lot of people who still buy Pokemon cards, so I would go for that one. That one, I would definitely rather have that. Twenty. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I thought it'd be more over here than that. I don't know how much that will cost actually. Would you rather have Pepsi or have Coke? If it's both ordinary, I wouldn't pick any because they're both disgusting. Diet. I don't know, but I, I drink out of these Pepsi Max, that, that's a better one, but I don't, like, Coke has this weird, 
fatty taste. Pepsi's just, if it's ordinary, I probably wouldn't pick any, but I'd probably pick Pepsi because they have Pepsi Max and that's what I drink. But I don't actually rate any of these two. They're just, I wouldn't really drink them if they're ordinary. So I have to go with Pepsi. I bet a lot of people go with Coke. Yeah, bought so. Would you rather stand on red hot burning coals for 30 seconds without moving or shut your hand in a waffle iron for two minutes? I love how they said in this one, red hot. In this one, just put your hand in it. Doesn't mean it has to be on. So, as they put red hot, there, that's going to be red hot. <laughs> but this one doesn't say it's a red hot waffle iron. So maybe it's off and you could get lucky and not get burnt. So I'm going to go with that one. Okay, obviously they didn't have the logic I had. They just like, yep, 30 seconds, yep. That's shorter than two minutes. We'll go with that one. Would you rather be an Olympic tennis player or be an Olympic table tennis player? So I'm guessing that you can only play this sport when the Olympics is on. So the Olympics comes every four years. So I guess you're only going to play every four years. But I'd rather be a tennis player because I think that's a bigger sport and I play tennis and it's I like I like table tennis. It's good, but the te proper tennis, proper tennis, <laughs> tennis, you get to run around a lot. I, I prefer like that kind of sports where I can run around and get them back. But table tennis is like probably more fast, and you could hit the edge of the table and it's hard to get back. We probably won't get it back. Or I would be tennis. I think it's a bigger sport. Would you rather drink milk for the rest of your life or drink orange juice for the rest of your life? Tough one. I like milk. I actually probably like that more than orange juice because some orange juice I like. Some can be some sour in there and not very nice. But if you get the milk that you like, uh, semi-skimmed, that'd be good. But orange juice, some orange juices are not that nice and some are really nice. I'll probably have to go with the milk because probably consistently you're going to get the nice ones or the nice flavour you like. Flavour. What am I all about? Orange, okay. Would orange juice be more healthy? Probably not because they probably add a lot of sugar in that. Would you rather be forced to watch a movie you hate over and over again for a week or be forced to listen to a song you hate over and over again for a week. The song probably, because songs are around about three-ish minutes, so that's going to be repeating quite a lot, but movies that can be like three hours long or an hour and a half, and you probably can watch that, all different scenes. You probably could watch that whole movie. No, you probably could listen to about that same song around about nearly a hundred times before one movie is over and it will just repeatedly get annoying because you're hearing the same lyrics over and over again in a short amount of time. You probably know the words but I think the movie would be better because it wouldn't feel as long as listening to a song over and over and over again. So I'm going to go with the movie. Wow. Would you rather have to sleep three hours every day or have to sleep 15 hours every day. So you're only going to have 9 hours of not being asleep every day. Or you could have 21 hours when you're awake. I'd rather sleep like 3 hours every day because, because then you can get up and you can do a lot of things in that time. But I think that wouldn't be good for you if you had 3 hours sleep every day. Because not enough sleep could, I think, can kill you. I'm pretty sure. But like if you have very limited sleep every single day, you're probably going to feel tired and it can do a lot of uh, health problems for you. 
but sleeping every 15 hours a day you're just losing all your day losing all morning or all night or all eat afternoon or something like that and you miss a lot of stuff in that time and then you sleep for 15 hours it's a very long time so I'd rather sleep 3 hours a day just because I probably sleep 15 hours a day anyway no <laughs> I don't sleep that much. Actually, I do. I, I can't even get up in the morning, so I'd rather go for that because I want to get up in the mornings and do stuff, but I can't because I'm tired because I sleep a lot. So I want to do this. Yes, just though. If you were only allowed to read one comic book company's comic books, would you rather only read Marvel or only read DC Comics? I would go for Marvel because they have, I guess, a better character. They got Captain America, Iron Man, Hulk, four other Avengers. That's all I'm naming. <laughs> but DC's got like Batman or Superman. I don't really like Superman that much. I like Batman, but I think I have more characters I like in Marvel than I do in DC. I'll go with that one. No surprise. Would you rather every movie you watch replaces the lead role with Nicolas Cage or every song you hear is performed by Nickelback? <laughs> right, I like Nicolas Cage and I like Nickelback. They're good. But every song you hear is performed by them. Imagine if you were, there was like a kids program on and they were singing, I don't know, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And that was sung by Nickelback. <laughs> that actually would be funny, but I think it'd be kind of scary for the children watching, I guess. But Nicolas Cage is, I think he's a good actor. And I like his roles in like the Ghost, uh, Ghost Rider and National Treasure. Good film, so I'd rather go with Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Something about that just... Ooh, no. Not every song, no. Would you rather be able to run 40 miles per hour or own a car? <laughs> Running 40 miles per hour is fast. Like, no one can do that, I don't think. And you can get around, I guess, quickly. Especially if you're in a... Like, if you had to run versus a car and they in like a short area you probably could run quicker and get to that place a lot quicker than a car will because you probably find shortcuts and everything but owning a car you probably won't get tired like you will running you can drive anywhere and everywhere so i probably own a car people would rather run 40 miles per hour than own a car i guess a car could be more expensive but you probably get more tired and you'll get like long distance a car will be better short distance running and you get a seat as well so <laughs> and a radio would you rather get punched in the mouth with a mouthful of razor blades or get a punch in the mouth with a mouthful of needles <laughs> razor blade they're about that big aren't they Needles can be any size, but they are probably more sharper and they can dig into your gums and everything, which probably won't be good. And you probably fit more in your mouth with the needles than you will razor blades, I'm guessing. But the razor blades could cut the insides. I don't know. Probably if you get punched like here, and then they all the needles come in here, you're going to get like a load of cuts here, I guess. I'd rather mm, punch with razor blades because I guess that, that wouldn't hurt more than needles. You probably get cuts in your mouth, but you probably won't have holes. <laughs> so, oh my god. Would you rather eat Lay's or Walker's potato crisps or chips or eat Pringles? Apparently Pringles are not fully potato, I think they're only 40% potato. 
and I think Lay's or Walker's are 100% and I think they have a lot more flavours than they do. But I like Pringles and I like, mm. I don't know, do Lay's and Walker's, they're the same but the Lay's is American, Walker's is English. Do they taste different? I don't, I don't know. I'll probably go with this because they've probably got more flavour and they're actually potato than Pringles. But I love Pringles because they've got some good flavours as well. So I'll go for this one. I'd rather eat Pringles. Wow. Would you rather beat a tiger in a fight who ate a man? Or beat a man in a fight who ate a tiger? Hmm, good question, good question. I'm going to leave this one here. I want you guys to answer this one in the comments, and I'll come back to this one in the next episode. Leave them in the comments so I see what your answers are and what you do, and I'll answer this one next time. So I'll say thank you all for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video. Goodbye.